right guys, so I got this on 4-12-24, um, around 2 a.m. And um, this is a long one. Uh, when my firstborn was a toddler, um, if there was something that was really, really long and she wanted to use the word marathon, she'd say a thoneral. So this one's a thoneral. Okay, this one's going to take a second. Okay, um, also there's some things coming that I'm going to encourage you to just start praying because this whole set, there's like 40 different prophecies coming out and there's a lot of very new information and some of it is a little alarming um, unless you're really under God's wing. So I'm going to encourage you to really get in your spiritual safe place because what's coming is not happy. <laughs> some of it. Okay, so um, this is called the hexagon virus. I was having a dream. And I saw an unusual octagon or hexagon. It turned out to be a hexagon. And it was slightly curved and long. And then I heard April, an event and a virus. And I felt the virus was after the event in April. And the virus was possibly not in April. Okay, so that was my, my sense when I got it. Then I saw an angel's face. And I was told this. The order of five events. Now I want you to understand I'm only going to give you four events because I was only given four events. I don't know why, but it said the order of five events. Number one, earthquake. Number two, asteroids. Number three, aliens. Number four, bombs. And we know the bombs relate to war. So I woke up knowing I had to write this down. And then I received these words from the Lord after I finished scribbling out this little stuff about the dream. Man is to believe aliens brought a virus with them. It will be a man-made virus laid on them. A hexagon in structure, not cellular, not right. The man-made virus kills society. Prayer will stop it in its tracks. Those who pray will be fine. The virus is to give a bad headache and nausea, then the men will die right after. The hexagon virus will be found. Those that pray will recover. Those who do not die a quick death. Pray for the people. Change to come. A whole night death comes. Aliens to be blamed, but all planned by the kings for fear. Be quick to pray. Be one with me. Be warned, changes arrive. Mass vaccinations given to ensure health. Do not join. These need to cry out to me. They shackle themselves. More sickness will follow these who comply. Pray now to break the chains of those who will be the target. When people fear, be confident in me. And then you, talking to me, Julie, will always be spared. Airborne. The virus will be airborne. Those out to see the spectacle of the false aliens will believe. The virus will fall upon. I felt it was dropped from planes. Many will die from this. Mine will be revealed. Not sick and praying. The pestilence and death to awaken. The news will play up the fear. They will offer the solution, a vaccine. Stay clear from it. It will be future death. What a beautiful name it is, Jesus Christ our Lord. Pray now, pray now, pray in advance for protection and for others' chains to be broken. Pray versus the power of evil and darkness to be held back. The hexagon virus is bitterness. The power of prayer is sweet. Many will be angry. Their loved ones gone and the praying ones are spared. People who say the praying ones are aliens and evil. Be bold, stand strong. Then I was given a cure. The cure with prayer. There are four. Garlic, onion, rice, and water. Pray over these. Cook the garlic and onions. Cook the rice. Combine Drink with much water and it will heal. 
Keep the central focus, God. This will keep a person safe because I will guide. Then 2.55 a.m., I got Shirno Collins. Now, 2.55 in the Greek and the Hebrew is an owl and unprofitable. Then um, I saw an image that came up of the Joker talking and another man that had a scary face. He was talking. They, the people, will awaken to the blood of Jesus, and the people turn. Then the people, sick with the virus, are to be set to be terminated. The just prayers win. It will be at the people of New York. They will be outside as usual. They will be in the path. Pray they are humble and pray. There is one who looks similar to vain. He scared many. Prayer will keep people safe from him. He tries to take down people. The praying will be safe. 36 hours start to finish with vain. Those that cuddle up with prayer, this will save them. Then the bombs fall. It is a lot better for these that pray. When the mighty pray, the kings do not believe their plans can be defeated by people in prayer. This defeat baffles them. Chains break in the name of Jesus. Miracles occur. So then I heard music, and it was the lyrics of, And the Church of Christ was born. Then it switches back. I ask, are there, are there two alien events? Because I've gotten some mixed information, and some of the dreams even show the mixed information. Or do they just blame the virus of being not of this world? I saw an image of three separate sailing ships. The first two I caught and I let people on. And the third one was barely caught, but a few did get on. Now, as a point of reference, I come back after my translation. I come back and I get the anointed days three through five. So this is in reference to, I think, those three days of leaving. The one that was barely caught, a few got on. I believe this reverse refers to the anointed that are not aware that they're anointed. Um, or those who are anointed, but they're not 100% on track at the moment. But when the people who are on track do miracles, they bam, repent and get on track. So when... They see those miracles, they repent, stand, and report. So it's one of those two dynamics, I think. So the same music from the song um, where the Church of Christ was born, it says, Because the grace of Jesus Christ, he has resurrected me. Praise the Father, praise the Son, praise the Spirit, three in one. Then there was more music, a different tune, and it was um, God's glory, majesty, Praise forever the King of Kings. Then these words came. In a dark night, the baby Jesus was born. In a dark night, man challenges the man Jesus. We, Christians, see Jesus as the God of glory to be magnified. They see him as a falsehood, a myth to be made invalid, so that his people can be called a falsehood and a cult. But in the dark night, when Christianity is under attack, the brightness of his glory will shine through his people. This will rock their efforts, reversing the narrative. They will pursue harder to rid society of the true people of God. But because of miracles, many will come. Before all these events, the kings have set up falsehoods to kill many. A new unusual virus. It will kill quickly. Although it is man-made, they will claim it is of alien origin. They will aim at killing many to build fear. With this man-made atrocity, instead of cellular, it will be a hexagon. The kings will offer an antivirus, which is a falsehood. It will also kill those who take it, but slowly and in a different way, do not be involved. The symptoms of the virus will be a bad headache, 
and then nausea followed soon after by death, all who are exposed and prey will not be harmed. For some, this will be a first prayer, the prayer of mercy, and I will spare them. N pray now, church, against all the powers of darkness and evil. Pray the angels that fight them are strengthened for the fight and hold back evil, wickedness, darkness, and death. This is how men who do not pray will have one final opportunity to pray when these are held back. Pray for those exposed to man's poison. Pray their hearts are softened and they pray to me in humility. Be warned, changes are coming. As miracles rise, the hate of Christians will also rise. Be bold, do not waver, continue on your faith. All who are praying and sharing the gospel will be spared consequences. Man's plans are rising. I do not hold back man. I only protect through what they will do to mine who are faithful. Be faithful. No matter what you see, I am the Lord God Almighty. I will carry you safely through every trial until the rapture. If you give me the cares of your heart and allow me to lead you, I will guide every step. Trust me. Listen for my voice and obey it. Many things will occur before the rapture. Recall the pace of things coming will pick up speed. The faster and more chaotic the world becomes, the closer you are to rapture. Recall there are more than one uprising. The one just before the bombs is global. Many odd sights and falsehoods are coming. Stand firm through them. Do not listen to falsehoods from the media. Do not listen to the deceivers. Do not allow the evil ones access to your mind. Focus on me. The terrain is going to get bumpy. The times are going to be strange and different to navigate for all. Unless praying and asking for my wisdom. Hold on. My peace will be with my own through the turbulence. The turbulence must come to usher in evil's reign and to allow the church to leave. Stand strong. Here's the verses. Exodus 23, 25. So you shall serve the Lord your God and he will bless your bread and your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. Jeremiah 30, 17. For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord, because they called you an outcast, saying, This is Zion, no one seeks her. Jeremiah 33, 6. Behold, I will bring it health and healing. I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. Jeremiah 17, 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for you are my praise. James 5, 14 to 15. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. James 1, 1 to 27. James, a bondservant of God, of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfected and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not the man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Let the lowly brother glory in his exaltation, but the rich in his humiliation, because as a flower of the field he will pass away. For no sooner has the sun risen with a burning heat than it withers the grass. 
fades, its flowers fall, and its beautiful appearance perishes, so the rich man also will fade away in his pursuits. Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Do not be deceived, my beloved brethren. Every good and perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. Will he brought us forth by the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits in his creatures. So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. For the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, lay aside all filthiness and overflow of wickedness and receive with meekness the implanted word which is able to save your souls. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man observing his natural face in a mirror. For he observes himself, goes away, and immediately forgets what kind of man he was. But he who looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it, and is not a forgetful hearer but a doer of the work this one will be blessed in what he does if anyone among you thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his own heart this one's religion is useless pure and undefiled religion before God and the Father is this to visit orphans and widows in their trouble and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. Okay, so that was a really long bunch of words and there were a lot of really interesting elements in there. But here's the thing, there are a lot of riddles in there too. So I'm gonna try and break down some of the riddles and then I was also given a project at the end of this to give to you, it's very long. Um, the cure with prayer. I know that I'm gonna be riddled with questions about this, <laughs> okay? Um, the prayer that was given that was rice, onions, garlic, and water, right? You pray over those foods. I personally have eaten this because I was given this um, a few weeks back with a special diet because I have to be purified to go before the Lord. And so this is the process I'm going through. And in that, I can just saute it in olive oil or in butter. Those are the only two choices. And then I do I saute the vegetables until they're nice and soft and wonderful salt and pepper it and then I do the cooked rice and I do butter and salt and pepper in that and then I toss it all together and it's amazing it's really really good um but you're gonna say what if I'm allergic to this or what if I'm allergic to that or whatever whatever I don't know I have no idea that's just the words I was given so if you're concerned about anything and you don't know what to do about it ask the Lord because that I'm just passing on what I heard, okay? So after I ate this um, delicious rice and garlic, you know, kind of onion thing, um, I can tell you each day I eat it, I feel significantly healthier. I think it's just stripping toxins out of my body. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so the next riddle and reference is Evangeline, the blessing of Evangeline, look it up. So I was given these words in the middle of all of this. Evangeline means good news. So the blessing of the gospel. Evangeline is also a um, fictional story uh, that's historically accurate in a time period with the Acadians and the Cajuns when they were expelled from Canada by Britain and sent to what is now um, New England and then Louisiana. Okay, so um, as a note on 422-24, I was given more information and given the project called the Acadian Connection That'll be coming out fairly soon, and that's gonna deep dive into this Evangeline Look It Up, okay? Now, Shearno Collins was just like plainly given this word, these, this name. So um, to me, that's still a little bit of a riddle. Now, I looked up the meanings in Irish, 
It's a dog or a whelp or a puppy. In English, it means the son of Nicholas. So Nicholas is Nike plus people. So the victory of the people. And in traditional sense, Nike is the god of victory in the pagan stuff. In Arabic, the word Shirno represents the Chernobyl disasters or nuclear activity. And then in Russian, it means wide. Now, this could be an actual person that rises up and his name is Shirno Collins. I don't know yet. Uh, this is kind of one of those watch and wait. Let's see how it plays out. Okay, then there was the reference to Vane the Pirate. And Vane the Pirate um, is in the Star Wars spin-off series called The Mandalorian. And um, here's an image of how he looks. There's the actual actor, and then here's the image of the um, made-up actor, how they have him look. And I have seen this particular style of like a noseless um, alien type creature in a few different um, dreams and words now. And so I was told to summarize all of this stuff about Vain the Pirate for you. Okay, so um, this is considered one of the bad aliens, okay? The ones that look like Vain the Pirate, the noseless guy. So on 3-11-23, I was given this. Um, an alien resembling Vain the Pirate comes after humans in a second alien style invasion and he is seen as a villain to have war with uh, that implies there's a first alien invasion right so the panther the false messiah is about to rise plus the classic jewish alien okay so let me describe this a little bit in my symbology i've been told straight out the panther always represents the false messiah all sorts of cats, not lions, but all sorts of cats. Unless it's a black lion, then that does represent the false messiah. But the panthers, black cats, um, all sorts of different spotted cats, stuff like that, that's always going to be the false messiah in dreams. Now, the classic Jewish alien, that is from a different bunch of words, but it's a reference to me. I was given these words because I know what that means. But what that means is, you know, the cute little alien they've been doing since like the 40s or 50s, which is kind of like Spider-Man minus all of his markings and colorings. It's just like classic alien. Here's the image. Well, that is related to the Jewish Messiah. And so that's like the happy alien. Okay. Now, then I was shown... Um, Catholics deep in deception decided at a table of world leaders in New York at a steakhouse in the 1970s that this alien deception would be used to fool the world. I was shown a Pope and other priests and the men attending. Some were in the mob Others were world leaders. At the table, it was decided, as I watched them dine and talk, that aliens could usher in the false Antichrist so that their real Antichrist could rise up later. So that's super interesting. Next, I was shown an image with an extraordinarily bright light coming from the top left which is God's side. If you ever saw the language learning lessons, light coming from that direction is light from God. And it was beaming down on the earth. And then I heard God will prove it wrong. He's going to prove this alien thing wrong. He's going to prove the false Messiah wrong and the Antichrist wrong. Then I had been shown a specific skull in neon green, and it was intertwined with the Freemason symbol. So the next scene I saw is if a piece of paper, let's say we were taking a, a piece of paper rectangle, and then we cut this paper in half. The entire left side of the rectangle was completely illuminated with the brightest light you could imagine of God's light. So if you recall in the language lessons, this suggests that all Christians operating in man's power will receive a bright, bold awareness or a knowing of God's pure light and truth 
as compared to this deception. Next, I was shown Vane the pirate again. He looked just like the regular character from The Mandalorian with the no-nose, but this time his nose morphed into being more wrinkled and then it morphed into turning into an elephant's nose. Now, I know because of other symbolism I've been taught that the elephant always is connected to AI. And then I heard this, this alien is a villain after the traditional alien is dismissed. Then I awoke in real life and I was shown angels would surround me. Okay, so that's some information. Put that in your back pocket because there's going to be more. We're building information. 31423. I was told and shown the following. I heard in my dream, the righteous will see God. In my dream, hours later, I knew the presence of God was on my left, and I could see his glow and feel his presence, and he walked right out in front of me. He turned his face to me and passed by quickly. So the first time, as it was registering that that might have been God, then he passed by again, and he did it more slowly so I could absorb his face. At that time, I thought... It might be heretical to say I saw God's face because even when I died, his actual face was guarded from my eyes with brightness. But then a few days later, the same thing occurred to my number four daughter. And after God showed his face, we discussed it and we had the same exact description of God. After God showed his face and for the curious, he looks very similar to Jesus, but more mature and a bit more serious. But after this dream, I was shown many places in heaven. Later, I was shown this luminescent green neon logo on a black background. And it was repeated a few times. And then it was allowed to sit before my eyes so I could really study it. So I could draw it when I awakened. It was an elongated hexagon exactly like the virus hexagon. And inside was the same skull similar to what I associate with the biker skull, but the skull had the classic alien shaped eye sockets, like what I associate with Spider-Man. After I absorbed this, then it was connected to the eye of the elephant, which represents AI, because the elephants never forget and the elephant eye turned from happy to evil and mad looking like Spider-Man when he gets angry. Next, I was shown that the classic happy alien is directly connected to an AI link. And that is equivalent to vain the pirate alien images. I was told the false messiah is in association with the classic happy alien. That seems kid friendly and kind and people are attracted to this, but clearly all the words, activities for or against the false messiah or the happy alien are collected. And when the happy alien changes into being like Vane the pirate, or they stage a second event with Vane the pirate looking aliens, those who spoke against the first alien or the false messiah will be targeted. On 4-324, I was given personal words and more information about Vane. Vane is the day of delivery. And I was shown that I had angels all around me in protection. Then on 8-16, back in 2022, I was told Something with Trump causes a stir, then an alien deception, then the Middle East, then AI is China, the dragon. Then on August 16th, 2022, I was given many details about the future, but the one that is, is related to this is June broke God's heart. And I was shown MBS, which is Mohammed bin Salman, the Saudi crown prince, and he met with Turkey and Iran. I knew this had something to do with nukes and taking down the United States. Then in real life, 
I looked, and in real life, June 22nd, 2022, MBS met with Turkey. Then June 27th, 2022, Saudi Arabia declared they would like to resume diplomatic talks with Iran. Then in March 10th, 2023, Iran agrees to restore diplomatic relations with Saudi Arabia and reopens embassies within three months, November 11th through the 13th, 2023, MBS and the Iranian president have a meeting at the Joint Arab Islamic Summit. Okay, so this chart is to help you understand a piece. There's more prophecy coming, okay? But to understand a piece of why the Middle East is listed in that list of events, okay? So here's the chart. So basically, if you look here, it's an interesting little timeline. It goes by year and date, then regional shifts, Russia and China relationships. This is mostly actually about the Middle East, but this, these are the categories that I have uh, organized them into. So in 2004, China and the Arab States Cooperation Forum, they have a little forum. 2010, China Gulf Corporation Council, the GCC, has a strategic dialogue China launches the BRI or the Belt Road Initiative, which is an infrastructure development, a foreign policy to span all continents, criticized as a debt trap for developing countries. The SSF, Strategic Support Force, was created to integrate the PLO's space, cyber, electronic, and psychological warfare capabilities to overhaul China's military. 4-30-2015, the 562nd anniversary of the conquest of Istanbul by the Turks, there was a huge public celebration in Turkey for this. Kind of an odd year, huh? 9-2015, Russia intervenes to prop up the Syrian dictator in a Syrian civil war. In 2016, the Arab paper policy is employed by China. 2-4-2019, Pope Francis and Sheikh Ahmed El Tayeb sign the document on human fraternity for world peace and living together, aka the Abu Dhabi Declaration. 8-19-2019, Higher Committee of Human Fraternity is established. China becomes a leader in trade, which used to be the EU with the GCC or the China Gulf Corporation. 5-2000, Putin aims at returning Russia into the Middle East. 2021, China finances Iraq's infrastructure. 3-2021, Russia visits the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar. 2022, the BRI, Belt Road Initiative, 74% of the world's countries have signed into China's BRI and 94% of the sub-Saharan countries have joined. They have a China Arabian States Summit and a China GCC Summit. 2-24-22, Russia invades Ukraine. Russia has an unchanging position. We do not recognize Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights. In 6, 2022, Iran becomes Russia's top military backer. 6, 19, 22, Iraq meets with Iran. 6, 20, 2022, MBS meets with Iraq. 6, 21, 22, MBS meets with Egypt. 6, 22, 22, MBS meets with Turkey and Jordan for a new era of cooperation and MBS plans air defense umbrella to besiege Iran. 3-21-22, and I put Aries begins because they're pagan and they like to do stuff on their pagan holidays. So I kind of try to keep track of that on their sense. I don't believe in it or anything like that. <clears throat> but they had an Egypt summit, the US, Israel, MBS, and that was the US VAX deadline when they were trying to press everyone to get it done by. 327 through 328, 2022 was the Negev summit of the Abrahamic Accords with the US, Israel, Jordan, Morocco, Bahrain, 
UAE all united against Iran. Uh, 428-22, Erdogan and King Salman met for the first time in years after a period of disagreement. In 9-2022, Iran provides Russia with hundreds of drones. Some are suicide drones. 2023, China sells drones, missiles, and military planes to the UAE, Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Turkey, Morocco, Algeria, Saudi Arabia, and Iran. Also in 2023, China's digital Silk Road they made 5G for cell phones deals with the GCC countries. Saudi Arabia supports Chinese investments in advancement and research and technology. China makes a deal with Israel for tech and infrastructure. Also in 2023, China fosters agreements between Iran and Saudi Arabia as a diplomatic victory advocating an oil transaction to occur in the yen instead of the dollar. And also in 2023, the current member of the Shanghai Co-op Organizations becomes Iran, Saudi Arabia, and Qatar. 6, 2022 through 3, 2023, Erdogan and King Salman decide to create a new era of cooperation. 3-1-2023, Abrahamic House opens in Abu Dhabi, the UAE, the governing body, and this is run or overseen by the Higher Committee of Human Fraternity. If you remember back, that was created earlier, and the Pope is involved in that. 3-6-2023, this was on Purim. Erdogan and King Salman discuss a trade agreement and Saudi Arabia deposits $5 billion into Turkey's banking system. 3-10-23, Iran agrees to restore diplomatic relations with Saudi Arabia and reopen embassies within three months. That would be in June. 3-15-23, Russia meets with Lebanon's Hezbollah delegation. 317.23, Israel priest claims the U.S. will be underwater before their Messiah comes. And the same day, Russia meets with Israel. 323, unknown date, um, Russia visits Iran. 3.20.23, Aries begins again on the 21st. So this is the evening, you know how the, the Middle East, everyone does the eve and then the day. So this is the eve of Aries. Turkey and Saudi Arabia sign trade agreements. China goes to Russia for talks. Russia provides 94% of Africa's military equipment. And China brings supporting UN Vision 2023 plans in Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Egypt. China intends to create a new security framework in the Middle East with the support of the Arab League including military bases and drone factories. 5-2023, Syria reinstated to the Arab League. 5-3-2023, U.S. flights require a real ID. And the same day, Putin's residence is bombed. 5-5-2023, which was a flower moon and a lunar eclipse, King Charles was crowned. 6, 2023, China was the largest non-oil trading partner for the UAE and Saudi Arabia. Remember, that's in the yen. 6, 5, 2023, Abrahamic Accord Conference in New York City. It was called the AC23. Hmm. 7, 4, 2023. Iran joins the Shanghai Corporation organization, which is co-led by China and Russia. 7-13-2023, Erdogan promotes his vision for the new Ottomanism, the advocacy to establish Turkey's regional dominance and unite the Muslim Brotherhood and elevate the new Ottoman Empire to elevated global standing to promote stability in the Middle East and the Balkans and Central Asia. 
the, Louis, the Luzan Treaty expired. This was a treaty made post World War I that kept Turkey from regaining their entire Ottoman Empire lands. 9 2023, Russia and Iran each reach new levels, a range of planned events with opposition from the U.S. and the Western Allies. 9 23 20. On the fall equinox, and this is the pagan holiday of Mabon, the Palestinians gave a deadline to Israel on this date. This was the date. If they did not have their own state, they would attack. 10 7 2023, Hamas or Palestinians attack Israel in the Gaza Strip. This was on Shemini Atzeret. 10 13 2023 the friday the 13th the eve of the lunar eclipse the day of jihad is called for globally to send a message and to show anger to zionists and america with mass protests and palestinian israeli conflict 10 20 23 chi and putin have a meeting 11 11 through 11 13 the Joint Arab Islamic Summit 22 countries join. MBS and Iran's president meet for important talks about Palestine and ways to strengthen ties. 12-5-2023 on a crescent moon in Neptune being progressive. Putin has a meeting with the UAE during COP28. 1-24-24, there's a wolf moon in Aquarius. It is Syria and Russia has a joint patrol over the Golan Heights. 21924, at the beginning of Pisces, Russia sets up observation points in Syria's Golan Heights. 4-1-2024, Mercury is in retrograde in Aries and it's the pagan Venus celebration. Israel strikes Iran's embassy in Damascus, killing two high-ranking officials. 4-3-24, Russia deploys more forces to Syrian Golan Heights, the third military post. 4-19-2024, Iran targets Israel in aerial attacks with 300 plus missiles. That day happens to be the last day of Aries. 4-23-24, on a pink supermoon, Passover and Earth Day, college protests begin in the U.S. regarding the Middle East War. U.S. Climate Action Summit begins and the Summit of the Future begins. 4-27-24, Mercury is in a progressive phase and China rolls out a large restructuring of their military with high focus on tech for winning in the modern warfare to intelli intelligenize warfare. And um, that's a lot of info. I know there's so much in this one. It really was a thonor roll. <laughs> and um, I hope that all of this information is arming you with what to pray for and what's coming and um, more, more is coming, really. There's so much new prophecy coming out. So um, stay tuned, keep your boots on, and uh, we're gonna fight in, fight in prayer because we're winning this thing. See you next time.